Hello and welcome, I am Marumba. Thank you for joining me. This is episode 12 of Let's Play Endless Space Disharmony. We are almost finished with non-baryonic particles, which will be a great star system thing on some of my core planets. Also going to unlock some other stuff. Then we're going to make this uh, thing that reveals hexaferrum. I think I already have a planet somewhere that's got a bunch of hexaferrum. Was it this one? No. Hexaferrum. There's Siderite. I, I could have sworn I had one. Apparently not. Um, and then actually, okay, if that's the case... I've got one thing of Hexaferrum. So Hexaferrum would be nice to have unlocked, but I guess is it really worth 11 turns? 680 research points. Versus... Versus getting something like... Direct Industry or Science. Or even going westward on the map here to something like Food. Or should I even consider just, if I'm going to spend that much, maybe I should just head towards personal shielding. Hmm. It's a tough decision. Could reduce the disharmony penalty further. Colonizing asteroids. Warp drive. Colonize gas giants. Wow, that's a nice empire improvement. Getting more population on tiny planets could be good. That's only 300. Lava transformation. That would be cool. I could convert most planets into lava planets or something. Lava planets are pretty good for me. Hmm. I don't know, I don't really think that this hexaferrum is going to be that essential. So let's just get this one, and then we'll work toward that thing. I'm trying to grow my population back, because I think I accidentally killed most of them. Oops. Gistrad here is definitely within the range of the Empire. It's got to be. I refuse amoeba. I'm not giving you any of that stuff. Cravers don't like me. The automatons are willing to give me antimatter and trade for Hyperium. I don't really need either. So, I'm going to say no. Because they're probably doing that trade because they need the thing and I don't I don't really have a pressing need for it, so who cares? Haha. Uh -huh. Okay. Is this one actually growing? Yeah, now it is growing. Okay, as soon as you finish making your planetary exploitation, I think you should make something that gives food. I guess this one would be pretty good. Even more production. I mean, even if I just use it to make ships with a tiny, small population, that's, it could still make lots of little tiny ships. I'll make this thing and then this thing. Donna almost is in the same position. It's about to finish colonizing the lava planet, so we'll do the same thing. Or, I'm um, sorry, about to finish its planetary exploitation. So we'll go soils and then interplanetary thing. 
Amoebas are not happy with me. They're not happy with me. Am I at least catching up somewhat in score? No. The Sheridan are terrible, though. They're the weakest down there. This must be the Cravers. Oh, great, I've got the Cravers right next door to me. Awesome. I think these ships would probably be better off in Edix. Really tempted to start invading people. But to do that, I'd have to actually make ships. So I guess we should cut back on food. No, I can't. I want population. I feel like I'm so far behind in population. Hmm. Lots of population. Lots of planets are populated now. There's very few that are empty. I could still probably get over there to Olvadi. Here, this one's actually capped out. Finish colonizing and then make me a colony ship, please. Actually, let me check. Do I have any colony ships anywhere? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Desert, arid, arid. Hmm. Would I rather boost my disharmony penalty? Or get more population? No, I need to start making ships. Let's make six, some, some success boats. Just to make a bunch of them. Rassam here is almost capped out also. This thing grew like crazy. Alright, go ahead and make one more thing. And then I want to queue up a bunch of success boats so I don't forget. Even though I'm still going to forget. Because that's just what I do. Wow, that became an outpost right there. Oh, we finally finished non baryonic particles. So now we can make this really good star system improvement. I want that right away. Proto Orchid. Got some Transvine. Which is about happiness. Got Meta Ekadikan. Eka what? More happiness. Ship defense. Eden incense. Man, two more turns and I can. Yeah, I'm gonna cap out the population on these planets before I start making ships. Hmm. Not doing so bad on science. Um, even though I'm, I've got most of it kind of geared towards food right now, we're still getting a nice amount of science each turn. Pretty cool. Pilgrims will give me dust water. Um, nope. They say I'm an isolationist, and I tend to agree. That is the proper way to play this. This race is just like stay the hell away from me. Can't explore that kind of stuff. So this one's already capped out. That's sweet. Okay colonize this arctic planet to make it even bigger or I could start making that fancy new science thing which gives a bunch of bunch of flat science it's not part of my realm though what if I got the satellite before the colony ship this barren planet needs something Got the satellite before that, put that within the range of the Empire Circle thing, and then I made uh, um, the 
new sciencey thing. I gotta make that. But we're already capped out on food. Hmm. Okay, fine. Go colonize. And then make the food. And then make the sciencey thing. I'm very sophisticated, I know. I, I'll make make the sciencey thing. Go. You should make the sciencey thing too. That'll just be a nice flat boost to science. 15 on star system. Plus this one's got decent production. Rassam could almost kick that thing out in just a day. One more turn it'll be capped out. So... Let's put that thing ahead of the boats. I want the science. You... I need some more population. Osulo. It's already making success boats. Let's mix a little bit of science in there for good measure. And Regulus. Almost capped out as well. Science! Okay. Here has a nice big range of stuff there. I want to end all my, uh, all the stuff that's letting people pass through my borders. Okay, population stable at 10 on here. And I could colonize these arid planets, but they make a lot of freaking dust. So... Science? Science and success boats. We have our first success boat. Takes up two command cap usage. Can't move very fast. So it's got a bunch of missiles. I want to... what do I want to do? I want to look at my... my basic ship, the Defender. And I want to check out the... I don't think I put an engine on it. I'm not going to make any fail boats. These things are dumb. Fail boat. Remove. Ships based on this design will not be... Uh, I can't retrofit them anyway. Let's make a new one. I want to make a little swarmer ship. So, not the colonization ship. The cutter. Support module engine and tonnage yeah so this is designed to have an engine on it so let's put this new engine on it it's got the plus three movement plus one on fleet um, takes a very very small amount of stuff it does have a special slot so I could put some fighters on there what would we need fighters for invasion fighters land invasion strength 25 tons to make my little tiny swarming ship capable invasion. Do I want to be able to do that? Let's go with balanced. They're not nearly as good at invasion, but yes, we'll spend 25 tons of the space. So each little ship is going to have a balanced fighter that can help defend against enemies and also bomb ships and land. We're going to put, uh, so just the engines is all really. No, I could throw this thing on there. That's tempting. I'm trying to keep the cost <laughs> down. What the hell costs so much? Is it just the base cost of the cutter? Or was it the engine? 80. Wow. Well, I guess that's just the price you gotta pay. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
and the the best weapons that we have probably still missiles so each ship is just gonna have a ton of weapons and no defense just as many weapons as will go on there I'm just gonna blow the crap out of everything and if there's no one to attack then they can use their fighters to attack so we're gonna name this ship the swarm and I want to start making instead of success boats which are big ships I'm gonna make just tons of swarms and let's just do it like this I'm gonna do it from the empire management the bigger the empire gets the more likely I'm gonna start doing this so from here um, you can control it from here so we'll go no success boats instead make swarm ships and are you capped out yet? Yes, he is. We can get the food gone. No population loss. That's good. So we'll make the, all the science stuff. Swarm, 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 swarm. Next one. It's already queued up on swarms. No success boats. Just make swarms. Lots of them. This one doesn't need food. It needs to make swarms. This one here. That's fine. Good enough. Moving on. Because I, I can put 12 of those little tiny ships into a single group. And if I went down the... There's another science thing somewhere over there. No. That's scanner range. Where's the other one that controls? Command point cap. That's this little icon. So I'm looking for that little eagle thing. I know we can get bigger, bigger fleets. There we go. We can get another three way down there. And another four way the hell down there. Do we have any more in this tree? Got those two. Nope, looks like 12 might be about. Uh, check that out. Special module, super stealth fighters. I doubt there's any command cap stuff in this tree, but it's worth, still worth kind of looking into. Okay. We've got improved thermodynamics, allowing for population increases on small planets. So let's see which planets would make sense for that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to manage more from here, because I get confused with all those planets. It's easy to get mixed up and not know which ones you've looked at. So let's sort by population. Actually, it's hard to tell planet size but this way. Okay, fine. We're going to start it on Rassam, and when we come back to Rassam, then I know I'm done. So, this thing here, the endothermic structures, helps out on tiny and small planets. It will only show up if it will actually benefit the system. So, you got two small. This would add two population to the system. Um, and then t there's a tiny there, which we will settle that asteroid belt soon. So, I think this would be worthwhile. So, we'll mix it in there. Uh, this one's a small, single small. Mm, not really worth it. But we'll build it anyway. Tiny ocean. Oh god, we'll just build it everywhere. Tiny tundra. I like building stuff. Oh gosh. Got a tiny baron. and a tiny jungle. Oh wow, I should have should have populated this jungle here. That food bonus. Tiny tiny, so yes. Make the endothermic thing. Huge, large, large. Doesn't even show, does it? It's not the same one. Nope. 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 And we're back.
Spectra Song. Okay. Let's get some swarm ships coming out. Am I actually making any yet? I need to find out because I need to shift my my focus. We've got two swarm ships coming out. Population capped on some planets. Let's shift back towards science. So long as none of my population is going to start going down. Like on the big planets. Like these tiny ones, I, you know, whatever. But that's good. Because I'm going to start ramping up the ship production for a while. Automatons bought my Hyperium. Screw you. It's mine. We got those science buildings done. Look at that. 78 science now. My disharmony is pretty sizable. But we're getting 336 per turn now, so this is going to go pretty quick. I want to get this and then this. The moon survey can get coupled very well with uh, this thing. Extra food on per person, three extra food per person on planets with an explored moon. And also I want to be able to do the uh, level three hyperscale, so we'll do that next. And then I think I'm going to gear towards weapons. Because we're getting close, all that science, that I can actually get personal shielding pretty quickly. Start ruining planets. And I guess we'll go for the... We have a bunch of titanium. So we'll go that way. Two armor upgrades, and we can make assault troops. Let's just do that. And I'm going to beeline it straight for that resource. I want it. this ship is that my new is that my first swarm host my first nah, swarm host starcraft gosh swarm boat swarm ship yay look at that movement speed single turn it can go 11 and if i get a whole bunch of them together they'll go even quicker i'll need to have at least uh let's see the engine on this thing the engine on the swarm ship Why can't I see it here? Come on. I should be able to see it from right here. I remember it was plus three, plus one. So if I have one of them on their own, they get plus three. If I have two of them together, they get plus three and then plus two, which is less than three. Three of them together would move at the same speed, of course. I mean, one, two, or three are all going to move at the speed of the normal ship. But any more than three, and they start to get that bonus fleet speed, and they'll get even quicker. So if I put 12 of them together, that's nine extra, so I should get nine extra movement on top of their base speed of 11. So they should be able to move at 20 units per turn, which is going to be really fast. No amoeba. And the Sheridan don't like me. Surprise, surprise. Okay, alright, well, I'm going to wrap this one up here. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.